Hey people, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our in-depth video review of the BlackBerry Curve 9360 for T-Mobile. It's available right now for $79.99 with a two-year contract. It's an entry-level entry model, just like the Curve 3G from last year, but it sports some improved hardware and also some subtle design changes to it. For the most part, the Curve 9360 embodies most of the design traits found with its predecessor, but there are some subtle refinements that we like. Specifically, it's a lot more streamlined. It's 0.36 inches thick all around, so it's a lot thinner than the previous model. Still made out of the plastic, uh, glossy plastic, which tends to scratch easily and attract fingerprints, but it does contribute in making it a very lightweight. Overall, it's a nice looking handset, especially for the price. This time around with the Curve 9360, we find a larger, slightly larger 2.44 inch uh, display which has a resolution of 480 by 360 which is actually up from the QVJ resolution from last year's model. And of course, uh, when you combine those elements, uh, it produces a little bit better detail, so we like the accurate look, looking colors that it has to offer. Viewing angles are reasonable and the brightness output is strong, so overall it's a pretty nice looking display. Of course, it's only fitting to find that classic curved keyboard on this device, and it's just pretty much like previous handsets. The overall layout and looks the same. It's not as raised as we like compared to the previous models. Um, it has a slightly, uh, slightly uh, stiff feel to them too when you press down buttons. Also cramped, so if you have larger fingers or hands, you might have some issues using it, but for the most part, if you have a lot of patience, it's more than usable. Not surprisingly, we agree with the same exact button layout as before. You have also the optical trackpad, which is very usable and responsive, but with the physical buttons, they're kind of stiff to the touch. On the left edge phone, the only thing we find is just the micro USB port for data and charging connectivity. Meanwhile, on the opposite side, the right edge, you have the uh, dedicated shutter key here, the volume rocker. They're kind of hard to make out, and uh, they're very difficult to press, too. Actually, the worst button in the mall has to be the lock unlock here at the top. It's just really stiff to the touch. You gotta really push down to activate it. And you also have a 3.5mm headset jack. Lastly, in the rear, you have nothing but the 5 megapixel camera with the single LED flash. No autofocus, unfortunately. Removing the back cover, you gotta yank off the plastic cover. You gain access to its smaller 1000mAh battery, the SIM card slot, and the micro SD card slot. Under the hood, the BlackBerry Curve 9360 is powered by a single-core 800 MHz processor with 512 MB of RAM, and it's not a 1 GHz processor like the Bolt 9900, but nevertheless, it's still more than adequate in a quickly uh, um, executing a bunch of different basic tasks, whether it be opening up uh, applications or just scrolling, it's pretty responsive. Just like some of the other Blackberries I've been checking out, the Curve 9360 features OS 7, uh, which doesn't deviate much from the OS 6 experience from last year. It's a little bit harder to navigate just because we're more used to using a touchscreen for the convenience factor on other devices, whereas on this one here we have to rely solely on the trackpad. Um, and overall, it's starting to look a little bit antiquated versus the competition. Obviously, being BlackBerry and all, the email experience is fantastic just because you have push support, and on top of that, the setup process is fairly simple. Sporting 3G speeds as opposed to 4G connectivity, we're still happy with the overall web browsing experience. It's very responsive here, and you can see our website loads up properly. Um, when you zoom in, though, there is a little bit of a delay just because it has to focus in for a second. But besides that, it's pretty good. Finding the usual BlackBerry OS 7 music player, it's pretty straightforward with its uh, presentation, but we do like the uh, cover flow-like movements when you're browsing through albums. It's definitely an eye-catching appeal to it. As far as the audio quality, it's surprisingly very strong with its output, robust tones, and doesn't crackle at loudest volume setting. Surprisingly enough, we're caught off guard with the hands that's available to play back high definition videos, like the one we have here that's encoded in MPEG-4 1280 by 720 resolution. So it's 720p, there's a lot of detail, there's no lagginess, it's fairly smooth here. On top of that, colors are nice, uh, so it's pretty good, uh, even though it doesn't offer 1080p support. Even with its 5 megapixel camera in the rear, we're not all that convinced by its quality, just because for starters, it lacks autofocus, so it doesn't look as sharp as we'd like. In outdoor conditions, so good lighting, details are kind of faint side, almost non-existent at times, and every now and then, colors look off just because it casts this airy look to the shots. Indoors under low lighting conditions, there's just a lot of graininess and also uh, digital noise. The LED flash is strong and powerful, but it, sometimes it tends to make shots look overexposed. With its video capture, we're only given the maximum resolution of VGA, so 640x480, and tell you the truth, they look very pixelated, and when you pan very quickly, there's a lot of artifacting going on, so not that much detail to it. We do like that it moves at the frame rate of 29 frames per second, so it's pretty smooth, and the uh, audio recording is pretty clear.
Sad to say, but calling quality is pretty abysmal with the handset, just because of the earpiece on our end of the line, we're greeted with flat sounding voices, kind of difficult to make it, make out conversations. On the other end of the line, our calls are greeted with choppy voices, and when you switch to using the speakerphone, we're just greeted with muffled sounding tones. We're satisfied with the handset's signal reception, it's able to put out a good amount of bars in high coverage areas, and in our time testing it, it didn't drop any phone calls. One of the best things that we love about the BlackBerry Curve 9360 is its excellent battery life. On a single charge, we're able to get two days worth of heavy usage consisting of web surfing, emailing, texting, and occasional phone calls, so it's more than sufficient for anyone. Just like its predecessors, the BlackBerry Curve 9360 offers a good amount of value for the money you're paying for it. At $79.99 with the tier of contract, it's not that bad at all and won't empty our pockets. We do like the uh, incremental improvements that we find, such as the slimmer design with the handset, the faster faster processor, higher resolution screen, so it translates to a very good BlackBerry. Even though with its keyboard, it might not be the best or most suitable thing out there, but with a lot of patience, it's more than usable. If you're a power user, you want to probably stick with the BlackBerry Bold 9900, but if not, this is a reasonable choice for you. So if you'd like to learn more about the BlackBerry Curve 9360, you can check out our website, phonearena.com. Thanks for watching, guys.